Hi, let me show you just how easy it is to automate sending posts on X, formerly Twitter, in just four easy steps using Axiom.ai, a no-code browser automation tool. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. Quickly, before I take you through how easy the automation is to configure, and I'll show you the magic of the automation running in the browser, I just want to explain the context of how this automation actually works. So this automation basically will take a post from a Google Sheet. So you'll have a column with the post you want to insert, the text, and um, a path to the image or the video you wish to upload. Next, the automation will open up X or Twitter. It will open it up on the Compose page. So not the page you're seeing here, but this page. It will open it up with the dialog for the post already open. It will then enter the text for that post, like you would, just by putting the text into the input. It will then click on the image button, upload the image before finally clicking post. OK. You are, of course, going to need a Google Sheet before you can start using the template. Set up a, a blank Google Sheet. You'll only want, need one tab in the sheet. Column A, add the text you want for your post, and column B, the URL to the image. OK. You are, of course, going to need to install the template before you can configure it and then run it. So if you've found this video on um, YouTube, go to axiom.ai. At the top, click on Recipes. You'll then find this and other templates there. If you're already on the template page and you haven't got an Axiom account, click on the button, add your Axiom account, and then add the template. If you're ready just to install the template, click on the button. OK, we're now ready to configure the bot in just four easy steps. So let's get going. Without further ado, I'm going to open up Axiom. I'm going to actually do it on the on the Twitter page itself, so I can give you a bit of context as I go along. So the first step we want to configure is step one. This step reads the data from the Google Sheet. So in the spreadsheet field, I need to search for the sheet that I created, and that was Twitter test. Now, I don't need to set a sheet name because it will default to the first tab in the sheet. But if you are using multiple tabs, you would need to specify a sheet name. Next up, first cell. I want to set a first cell because I only want to read column A and column B and only a single row. So that leads me on to last cell where I'm going to specify B1. Sorry, B1. And now in the output preview, I should only see... Let me just do that. There we go. Output preview. I should now see column A, my tweet, and column B, the path to the image I wish to upload for this tweet. So that is step one set up. Let's collapse that step now and go on to the next steps. The next steps we need to set up are all sub-steps of the loop step. Now, we've set this axiom up to have a loop. You may not want to use it. At the moment, I'm limited to limiting it to send a single post. You can, of course, run more than one column or more than one row of data at once, and the bot will loop through it. But a bit more about that later. Let's carry on through the loop step. So the go to page is the first step in the loop step. We don't need to configure this because step 2.1 is already set up and it's the URL to the slash compose slash tweet page. That's essentially this page with the um, post form already open in the dialog. OK, the next step we actually have to set up is step 2.2. And this is an enter text step. This step inputs the message we want to send from the Google Sheet into the form that we see on the page just behind me here. So if I expand step 2.2, we'll see that we need to input some text into the field. But before that, we've got the select text field option. We've already set that up for you, so you don't need to do anything on that. So just focus on the text field. Now, we want to pass the data from the Google Sheet, which we've already set up in step one, to step 2.2 into the text field. So how do we do that? We just click Insert Data, then select the text, which is column A, save and close, and now you've got the token inserted to pass the text from the Google Sheet into the text field. As simple as that. So 
On to setting up the next step, step 2.3. This is the upload a file um, to each image step. So we've again, we've partially set this up, but it's worth noting before I expand the step that this upload a file step only works on the desktop runner. If you want to run this bot in the cloud, replace this step for the upload a file from Google Drive step. Okay, let me expand step 2.3. Now again, with the file input field, don't do anything here. We've already selected the file input field and that field is this image icon. So if you click on this image icon, X starts to upload an image. And that's exactly the, the route we're going to use for the bots. We're going to use that to click on that form element and upload the file from too. Okay, what you do need to set up within step 2.3 is the file path. So I'm going to click insert data just like we did just now for the Google Sheet and we're going to this time select column B and that passes the file path into the upload a file step so it will upload it to the post form in X. Okay that's that step set up. We've only got one more step to go so keep watching. We're almost there. I'm going to run the bot and see how it works. So step 2.5 is our last step to set up and I'm going to here, this basically deletes rows from a Google Sheet. This step will remove a row that's been posted already on the Google Sheet so we don't post the same post again. So first we need to set up is the first form element or the first input is the spreadsheet URL. Again, find the Twitter test sheet, the one you set up or whatever you've called it. Sheet name. Again, I've only got the one tab, so this doesn't matter. I don't need to set that. And I only want to delete a single row of data, so I'm going to leave both first row to delete and last row to delete on one. And that's it. That's my bot set up and ready to run. Now for the fun part, and I never get tired of this, watching the, the browser being automated by Axiom. Okay, let's get going. I'm going to open up Axiom now. What I always recommend is doing a test before you actually um, go into production and you have an up, a bot automating your task. And now to test this axiom or this automation or bot even, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is step, step 2.4, I'm going to disable this click. So I'm just going to click on the kebab menu on that step and press disable the step. And I'm going to do this for step 2.5 as well. And that just disables the step, so it, it won't be triggered in the run. And that means I can test basically nearly every part of this automation. It will test step one, the reading the data. It will then open up Twitter, enter the text and upload the image. So let's see that in action. Let's watch the magic. I've clicked run on the desktop app. Remembering this automation runs on the desktop. Now in the second axiom will open up. So I'm gonna drag it into view. Now I'm not doing anything. This is the, the bot, the automation running Twitter. It's going to type in the message. It's now going to click on the upload. We can see the media. The image has been added and of course it's not going to post because I haven't, um, I haven't enabled that button or in fact I disabled it. So that's how easy it is to run the bot. Enjoy automating. Now, like all of our templates, they can be completely customized. You can just add in your own steps and change how the bot works completely if you want. So a couple of things you could do with this template. Let me just open it up. If you wanted to run it in the cloud, as I've mentioned, you could search for the upload a file from a Google Drive step. And of course, just going into Twitter here, you can, of course, upload videos through the file download and you can interact with any of these elements as well. So if you wanted to add emojis, you can add your hashtags. Obviously, most of those you can actually just put in the text that you store in your Google Sheet. But do enjoy playing around with all the options available. Finally, a few tips just in case you get stuck with your automation. Let me just open up Axiom, take you through a few things. I'll do that on the Twitter page. So go to page. This should be set up so it opens automatically on the post with the post dialogue open. If that's not working, the automation won't work. So do check you're on twitter.com slash compose slash tweet. Okay, next up, let's go through the steps very quickly. So step 2.2, if you find the um, 
text isn't being entered into the input, do click select text field and reselect text field is point and click, just select it and then press complete, simple as that. Now, if, if the field's been selected and the text isn't being entered, do check you've inserted your data from the Google Sheet. Okay, step 2.3, uploading a file. Do make sure you've selected, um, if you have an issue, uploading the file, reselect the file input field. So it'd be, again, click, click, and then select the div just around the icon of the image, and then press complete, simple as that. Again, file path, make sure you're passing in your file path from the Google Sheet. You will need to check your file path is correct because obviously if it's incorrect it won't upload and you'll just get an error message and another issue you may encounter when uploading files if you try and upload a file from a folder on your computer that doesn't have the correct permissions i.e access axiom cannot access that part of your drive so do check those things do check your file path is correct and do check um, the file folder has the correct permissions if you're unsure how to set the file path, just use our collect, click to select, and then select an image in the folder you're trying to get access to. Let me just find a test one here. And give Axiom a second. And you'll see I've got the file path now here to that folder, so I can just use that uh, a nifty little trick just to work out what the file path is. Okay, click element. Again, if you find that everything is working but it doesn't send the post, check the step is enabled. If it is enabled, just reselect the button once post. Now, if that doesn't work, press custom. And why not try using element text instead of HTML? and press complete and that that function allows axiom to search for the text post rather than um, for the using the selector okay and then collapse that step the final deleting the row that's pretty straightforward just go through making sure you've got the settings as i described earlier okay awesome thank you for trying axiom good luck with your automation and i hope you enjoy automating the browser as much as i do